Hello everybody, so I am Nico D, so this is the Orange Pi 5 Plus in the metal case, so this is the aluminium case. I already made a video, but I had problems. This camera uh, was full and stopped recording in the middle of the video. This camera was playing at uh, too quick a speed. It did a capture every second, so that was unusable. So let me open it up. It wasn't very good when it came, so uh, it overheated with this. So this is a thermal pad. It is pretty thin, but it is very bad. So uh, with that, it was overheating to 83 degrees Celsius. So I had to do something to improve that. Let me show you what I did. There it goes. I have to be careful with that. So the thing was uh, the sock was overheating with this so I replaced it with a copper shim. So there is a copper shim over here and also some uh, thermal pastes and as you see some thermal paste here. I did keep these because these make contact with the memory chips, but uh, I don't think that's necessary. So uh, like this, it doesn't overheat. So the temperatures went from, let me check. So the temperatures, so with the heat sink, with the normal heat sink and with thermal paste it was 63 degrees celsius and idle 85 degrees celsius with heavy throttling at maxed out then with the aluminium case and with this thermal pad it was 61 degrees celsius idle 83 degrees celsius uh, maxed out so it was also throttling and then with this with the uh, aluminium I can show you what it is. So it is just one of these that I am using. As you see, it is as thick as this thermal pad. So uh, I'm using one on each side. I put uh, thermal paste. As you see, there is enough thermal paste. And with this, I could lower the temperatures. Uh, the maximum temperature with this is 78 degrees Celsius. So it does get hot. It takes about an half, half an hour for it to get that hot. So it does get hot, but it doesn't overheat. So for me, that is most important. One thing I do think it is always in a very hot case. So this case acts as an oven for the board. So other things also get hot. Now where did I put? So when you put it together, this is the knob for uh, the power knob. So we put it in here. And now just put in the board. We start with this side. Line it up well. Okay, that's good. Now I can close it again. So that's the metal case. I think it looks the part. It really looks very nice. Here it has got two things for an antenna, but uh, I'm not using my Iki uh, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth adapter for now. So when I am using it, then you can put the antennas over here. So it is a very nice board, but I do have some problems with it. So uh, the USB ports are pretty flaky. Um, with some devices, it performs very bad and also uh, it's sometimes uh, stops working for like a minute and then it starts working again. 
So uh, I couldn't start using it as my main desktop. I am still searching for a solution. Now I'm gonna test Debian. Uh, but with the Jammy, Armbin Jammy, uh, I built one and uh, with the Jammy from uh, the download page. Uh, after installing the the multimedia PPA and uh, the Panfork PPA, uh, when I opened Chromium, my mouse was very laggy. Uh, sometimes the mouse stopped working, keyboard stopped working. Uh, so. I am looking to get this fixed, so uh, when I have something uh, solved or when I found a solution, I will make a video about it, a review video. I already gathered a lot of information, but I need to fix this problem first. So thank you all for watching, I hope you learned something, see you all later, bye!